Hello everybody, welcome to Tony's Beer Goose, thanks for joining me. Um, the uh, Ale House and Brewery are now officially finished. I've had an official opening with uh, Miss Sandy's Beer Goose. There's a little shot on YouTube uh, showing you around. But uh, yeah, barring, bell, peanuts, beer machine, although we're not going to be in there yet. Uh, I'm starting to get some signs together, so that's my first one. There's a dartboard, so that's all this side, that's all the Ale House side and all that side is all my brewery equipment uh, which does need a little bit of an upgrade so I'm going to upgrade all that in the next month or two um, doors open it's a dog friendly ale house so my own uh, brew dog might come in and uh, have a little sniff around and jump you up you never know um, yeah without further ado the beer video um, I've been doing a couple of videos on cheap beers and uh, I think this might be the last one because I'm kind of running out of cheap beers to go and buy. I've done reviews on most of them, of most of the supermarkets over the last couple of years, and I'm, I think I'm just picking up on the tail end of a couple of new beers that have come out. Um, this is the one, this is interesting. This is the one um, I saw. I was looking at this in Morrison's today. This is their Continental Lager, coming at 3.8, I think, isn't it? Have a little look. 3.5, sorry, 3.5% ABV. It cost me three quid for four cans, so 75p a can. Um, and to be fair, I was looking at it, coming in an hour in, thinking, should I buy them? There wasn't that many, there was only four packs left on the shelf. And I was just thinking, I'm in an hour in, so I'm just going to pour this as I'm talking. Um, some guy came, a uh, young, young lad, and picked up three packs and um, start to walk away and I said, excuse me, is, it, is that decent stuff? Uh, he said, yeah, he enjoyed it. Um, I didn't ask about his financial situation or anything like that, but he said he enjoyed it and on an, e on an evening, um, a four pack goes down really well. So I picked up a pack myself, the one he'd left, didn't want, uh, and decided to review it. And it just kind of proved, I suppose, I always say with these, uh, since I did the cause one, I got a little bit of flame, flaming with it. Um, that there's a there's a market for all these beers. So whilst it might not be to my taste, they will be to somebody's taste, and more importantly, right now, to somebody's pocket. So beer in the glass. It's quite a decent colour actually. That's, a, that's the kind of colour I like from lagers. Um, if it's going to be a little bit malty, um, yeah, it's put a dark golden colour. That golden colour, uh, foamy white head, and lager like carbonation. To be fair, that looks alright. Please with that. Let's have a sniff to show we? Do you know what? To me, that, te that smells a little bit Carlsbergy. And actually, just. Hey, just thinking about it, that actually looks a little bit like the old Carlsberg cans, doesn't it? The colours. Um, so I wonder if this is some... It's not like Morrison's to try and do a rip off of some music. But I've just looked then, and just with the, even that, that stripe and stuff, it just looks very carlsberg -y. And I, I was getting the carlsberg -y way. It's mild, sweet mild malt. And a bit grainy. Right, stay show. Cheers, everybody. Okay, it doesn't taste Carlsberg. It's okay. Do you know what, as if I'm being honest, for three quid, four cans, I was expecting much worse. It's not too bad. It's it's like the nose. It's got the light sweet malt in there. A little bit of a grainy flavour. So we might hear some noise from outside because I left the door open for the dog and uh, I think she sat in front of the telly around come and see her old dad. Um, I 
that's it really sweet well a little bit of graininess it's thin it's watery there is a very mild dry bit of finish to it Certainly not my cup of tea. Um, in fact, tomorrow from Friday, um, I've picked the beer, uh, and it's. I think it's going to be a cracking beer. I think it's going to be absolutely cracking beer. It's a lager, another lager, um, but I think it's going to be great. Um, do you know what? It's refreshing. It's easy drinking for three point five percent. I suppose it's not too bad. green pass it's not too bad but it's not good either it is down the middle I'm gonna score I'm gonna score that five out of ten so five out of ten from Andy's beer reviews uh, thanks for watching really appreciate it uh, comment like subscribe all the usual stuff um, wherever you're drinking please enjoy it until the next review cheers everybody